All right. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Here we are playing some chess. It's been too long. I've been spending all my time coding, and um, now it's time to just have some fun. Uh, so with that said, let's see, where am I? Where am I doing? Okay, yeah, no, I get that. I've seen this before. Thanks for the notification and all that. Uh, my bullet rating is take a, taking a plunge. Um, what's happened this last month? Okay, so my atomic rating slightly dipped. King of the Hills taking a hit. Oh yeah, because I was playing... <laughs> I remember that. I was playing some ridiculous King of the Hill and going berserk every game. Okay, that was fun. Let's see if I can get my bullet rating back over 2100. It's actually pretty hard, but... Let's see how well I can do with this. Um, yeah, let's put a limit of 1750 out there and just see where we get. Actually, there's a bullet tournament going on. Why don't I just play in that? There we go. Hourly bullet. Start. Go. Win. Alright, can I get sound? There's some sound. Okay. I'll tend to do better if I don't go berserk every game like I did, um, you know, whenever I tried that experiment. Whoops. That was not so smart. Well, this could be fun. Uh, okay. Check. Yep, this is definitely not my smartest game. Uh, at least I didn't trap my knight for more than one move. Alright, look at me hang another pawn. And not a rook. My rook is not hanging. Observe the not hangingness of the rook um, as it marches up the board. Huh. Can't get me over here. You can try. Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm a rook. Doesn't have to rhyme. Okay. Let's just keep attacking. And now we got the uh, skewer. and a mate. Well, that's not a bad way to start. Can I do better? Okay, I'm still anticipating he'll play d4, which he's totally not playing. Oh, okay, so we're gonna blockade d5, or make sure he can't play any piece to d5. Um, do I go all in? Alright, we're gonna chance it here. Never mind. Nobody needs a kingside attack. Oh, I stepped into a pin. That was inadvisable. Uh, let's just push, push, push. Okay. Take the dark squares. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, got an open line. Perfect. Everything's proceeding according to plan. Check. Um, whoops, that didn't quite work out. Or that. Yeah, I can resign that. All right. Um, I tend to lose the first game of every tournament, but today it was the second. So, let's try not to get too upset about that. About the fact that I just dropped a piece for nothing. Because I was not paying attention. Uh, okay. 
three piece. It's a queen here. Ship there. Castle. Unless he does b5. Bishop e6, bishop c4. Okay. Whoops. Well, that gets me into a pin. Let's step out of the pin. Uh, he could actually won a piece if he played that differently. Um, so, you know, I need to be a little bit more cautious or careful in that regard. All right, free stuff. Um, all right, rookie one. And just if he hits this over here, I move my knight forward. Yep, forward we go. All in tack. Oh, I forgot. I'm hanging my queen, except not really. Um, Alright. This hangs the fewest pieces, maybe? Okay, that works. Maybe. Let's get bishop d4. If he sees it. Check. That's not check. Um, it's pinned. My goodness, what am I doing? Okay. Can I be not dumb? All right. See, that's how you win on time. Okay. That is how you win on time. Going with my super special secret line of the Nidorf, which is just don't play anything confrontational. Just try to not lose out of the opening. And invariably do lose something and scramble to try not to lose the game. That's my super secret way of playing the Nidorf. Um, Alright, so like this game I'm hanging everything. Um, by everything I mean in exchange and who knows what's going to go next. Um, but hey, I got an active piece. Oh, there's the exchange back. Okay, I'll take that. Um, if I can target some of this here, that'd be nice. Let's go for that. Okay, let's go for this. Uh, or something. I'm not sure how you're supposed to play this stuff. So I'm just going to take, take, take. Just because this looks fun. Hey look, checkmate. And that's what we mean, oh that's what Lee Chess means when it says I'm opportunistic. Is that I create these ridiculous opportunities and my opponent kind of falls into something. That happens quite often in Bullet and Blitz, but more often in Bullet, because I can do nonsense. Um, there we go. Can I move my pieces? F5? Okay, I just hung a pawn. Not intentionally. Alright, no, I'm not hanging it anymore. Uh, got g4 under control. Uh, hanging c6, but he didn't notice. Okay. Usually they'll just take the piece. Um, it's a lot easier to take pieces and ask questions later. But what is easy is not always right. F3. 
free stuff. Uh, let's take this way and that way and just make sure I don't lose my king. I think I'm doing pretty well on the not losing my king aspect here. No mate. There's the mate. I found it. Okay, so time for some serious commentary, maybe? I don't know. I've been doing a lot of, um, oh, a lot of software development recently, and just, it's really nice to break out of that once in a while and just play some chess. Um, I wouldn't call bullet chess, necessarily. Oh, he's not taking my queen, I'll take his. Okay. E4? Is he going to play it? No. I mean, he shouldn't, but uh, that's aside from the point. The point was that he might play it. Huh. Well, that didn't quite go as planned. Uh, let's not get the mouse over power tip thing showing up and let's just play some moves. Get the pieces moving forward. Uh, there's a pin. Usually that kind of move is enough to discourage the opponent from playing further. Um, but some opponents are more resilient than others. They'll keep fighting to the end. Like, here he could pin my knight, uh, if you were paying attention. Okay. Now just, like, double rooks somewhere, or not. Um. Alright, take my pawn. I think I can win this. Pretty sure I have an advantage here. Maybe I don't know how to win this. Maybe he's right. But okay, there we go. There's the resignation. Took him a minute, but he found the button. Um, oh wow! Holy moly! Um, I should prepare to get cooked here. Uh, just avoid confrontational moves. Uh, also avoid theory. Um, okay. Check. Oh, this, shoot, this doesn't win material. Never mind. See how quickly I strayed from my plan of avoiding confrontation. It's, it's difficult um, to just kick old habits. Okay, let's castle. Uh, support my knight. Step out of stuff. Get my other pieces out here. Um, gotta take here. Pull back. Let him take. Trade here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is messy. Oh! Oh, well played, sir. Well done. Oh, wow, that was good. <laughs> I did not see that coming. I saw the rook under fire. At least I saw one of the two things that was hanging. Just not the one that mattered. Okay. Yeah, I'm just being that, playing that silly move just to see what he does. There we go, d6. 
Good old standard Sicilian moves that you never see. Because usually they don't work. Uh, let's throw the knight out here. Ha ha! That was fun. <laughs> Whoosh! Okay. This is bullet chess, guys. I liken this to pinball. There's a reason. I don't call this chess. Um, definitely I do not call this chess. Oops, we gotta do this first. Ah, uh, shoot. Oh! Oh, he just plays d4. That looked cool. Okay, maybe he doesn't. I uh, tactics are too hard to evaluate in this time frame. Um. So yeah, I have no idea what's going on other than I just don't know these openings. Uh, okay. Look at this development. This is gonna hurt. Oh, right. I forgot. Pawns go forward. Queens move sideways, yada yada. Um, okay, that's GG. Yep, yep, yep. I'm so proud of that knight e4. That looked so cool. Alright. Here we are, the c3 Sicilian. Because my other Sicilians that I just played were not working, so let's play this one. And watch it also fail. Alright, hit this. Let's take it. Free knight. Yep, definitely I... Um, Lee Chess calls me opportunistic, and they're right in calling me such. Because when my opponents hang things, I take them. Alright. Let's trade. Or not. Okay, take my stuff. See if I care. Um... Can I sack over here? Uh, let's try to double over this way. Little innocent do-nothing doubling moves. Uh, okay. Finally had to do something about knight d5. Okay, we pin the knight. Discover attack. Yep, yep, yep. That wasn't where I wanted to move it. That's okay. See? When you find a good move, look for a better one. Queen takes pawn was good. Checkmate's slightly better. Okay. Haha! <laughs> Alright, that's fun. I've never tried that one in Bullet before. I think I might have to try that more often. Uh, it's amazing what you can get away with in Bullet Chess. Can I just say that? I think I can. Free bishop? Rook c1? Rook c1? Oh, come on! Okay, fine. 
Rixie one, I get to take this other bishop and then fork his king and rook. And the whole point of Rixie one is it's supposed to like look like it's a good active developing move, trying to like move his rook to my seventh or eighth rank and do some damage. But you know, that's okay. Oh crud! Got Zeppo again. Here we go. Yep, yep, yep. Let's make him think. How much can I make my opponents think? There's only so much they can pre-move if I'm doing random moves. At some point they do have to start thinking. Uh, I've got a sack. Oops. Alright, so he got me, he got me. Uh, how long can I stave off the mate? Oops, that's not staving off the mate. For very long. He got me. Alright, seven seconds. Not bad. See, this is why he... I usually don't play in these highly popular bullet arenas. Um, it's because strong players um, play in them and beat me in embarrassing ways. Okay. Uh, okay. Check. Check. Not a check. Whatever. Take my pawn. My king's out of there. Uh, should have done something smarter. Free rook. Free queen. Free knight. Check. There we go. He almost. Oh, crud. Crud, crud, crud. How am I supposed to beat this guy? No, no, no. Okay, this is bad. So, yeah, my best chance... Oh, never mind. I was going to say my best chances would be to win on time, but... What? He's... he's what? The, what? He's rated way higher than I am. He could have pulled that out. Why? I, I don't understand. I mean, he, he still had an advantage, or it was at least close at that point. Um, sack the pawn. Go for mate. Damn it! You saw it. <laughs> okay, that was fun. Um, all right. Castle? That's not castling. How many pawn moves can I provoke? Ah, yes, the endless peace shuffle that ends with me hanging something. Um, or doesn't end with it, you know? It's just the peace shuffle that never ends. 
and goes on and on, my friends. And some people started shuffling, not knowing what it was. And then they just kept on shuffling forever, because it's the beast shuffle that just never ends. Okay, fine. I'll trade those. Uh, check. Pawn. Yeah, that's not going to turn out well for me. Alright. Good games, one and all. Good games. I mean, it's good for pinball. And my rating went up 47 points, so now I'm at... Where am I? 2067. Well, it's closer to 2100 than I started from, so... I can be kind of happy with that. Do I dare? Um... There's a now another bullet coming up in three minutes. Yeah, maybe I do one more. Or maybe I calm down and play some, like, Blitz. That seems like the calmer thing to do. What are all these events that are going on anyhow? So, okay, so all of them ended at the same time here. The Classical Arena is still ongoing. The Horde Arena is still ongoing, then there's Anti-Chess. Um, I'm not saying that Anti-Chess is solved, but um, it's getting there. Yeah, let's just... I hate to tank my Blitz rating, but what else can I do here? My Blitz rating was on a high. Um, 21 something something, 2103. I could do better than that, but... I don't know. I could play some Correspondence. It's been a while since I've done that. See, I've played nine whole games of Correspondence. And, or nine rated games. And over my last 12 games, I've gained 423 rating points. I could do some of that. It's actually quite fun. It's been forever since I've done it. Oh, we could take a look at my insights, too. Uh, yeah, I've been around here, I've toured it before. Let's update our insights and see um, da, da, da. how often do I punish my opponent's blunders? Specifically, not just across everything, but let's take a look at bullet. Uh, let's take a look at move time of near instantaneous, which I assume most of these are in fast time controls, not necessarily bullet. But, um, so, this says that three times out of four, I will take advantage of a blunder, regardless of what phase of the game we're in. Although, as we trend toward the end game, I tend to take advantage of blunders more and more. Um, oh, yeah, let's measure my luck by game phase. Alright, so in the opening... <laughs> okay. In the opening, two out of five times, my BS works. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty hilarious. Uh, you know, this really needs to have not a count of how many games, but just how much BS I play in bullet openings. This needs to count that up. I would like to see a count of just how much absolute nonsense I tried to get away with in the opening. I, I guess the number of moves, maybe this is an indicator of how much I try to get away with. And maybe this is just a sign that in fast time controls um, I tend to hang pieces a lot. Um, I don't know. My perception is that I tend to do a lot of pretty serious nonsense in the beginning of bullet games. You've seen it. You've all seen it. And the rest of this is just me accidentally hanging things. Um, uh, but okay. Um, yeah, how about luck by... I don't know. What would be another fun thing? Luck by material imbalance. So... 
Yeah, let's see. I don't even know how to interpret this. So this is saying that if I'm moving quickly, um, I tend to be lucky pretty equally across all uh, spans of material. Except at this extreme where um, I don't have very much. Um, actually, let me filter this, not to exclude top and bottom opponents. So I'm filtering to exclude much weaker and much stronger players. And now we get a maybe a clearer picture of how lucky I am. So, um, yeah, this is saying that when I'm ahead, I tend to get very lucky, and that my opponents just drift off and give up. Also, well, I guess the one circumstance where I'm not really lucky or fortunate is if um, we're equal and I try to do some uh, accidentally blunder. My opponents tend to pounce on that, but if I'm way ahead or considerably behind, um, then I tend to get luckier than elsewise. So, um, wait, how long does this, this goes on for 56 minutes. That said, yeah, I'm just going to join another uh, bullet tournament. Because I don't feel like signing up for a tournament that's going to last an entire hour. Free night. Free night. Castle. GG. Alright, not a bad way to start the tournament. Um... Oh, we got a national master in here. VT Chess. Well, I bet he's going to win the event. Uh, just because he's rated 2359, so... Uh, if there was somebody to bet on, based on just his rating, he'd probably be the one to bet on. GG. Okay. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. That's why you play irregular openings, is because you will catch your opponents off guard. Okay, so this one I'm just hanging upon. Um, still, I'm making my opponent work for it. I'm just going to do night takes. They always do night takes, because it's a good move. Alright. Look at my active rook. Alright, so let's not hang the rook to some ridiculous tactic. But you know it's going to crop up somehow, somewhere. Um, C plus F4. Yep. And knight takes knight, I guess. No. Lower rated players would just take pieces when they feel tension. Strong players, um, they live for the tension. They don't let it intimidate them. Although sometimes it is best to just uh, quell the tension right away. or some ridiculous tactics might crop up. So, yeah, guess who's leading the tournament, guys? H5 is the best opening for Bullet. Confirmed. I'm just saying. And, yeah, I think at this point we can safely conclude that Bullet Chess is not chess. Um... I think uh, my theory has been proven at this time. Um, uh, 
Alright, so maybe my night sack wasn't the soundest. Uh, crap. Wait, no, this... I'm not hanging everything here. Um... Okay, so yeah, maybe I am having, hanging a lot, though. Like, despite my nonsense, my development still is lagging behind my opponents. Usually when I do this sort of stuff to develop, um, it gets me an edge in development, as in a positive lead. Um, here I seem to just have hung everything and not have very much to show for it either. Okay. This is a check. This is also a check. That's pretty much the only thing I can do right now. Oh, I forgot. You can do that. How's that not me? Never mind. Okay. Well, that was a close game. That was a very close game. My opponent was toying with me, or he's trying to play very exact moves and um, rather than practical moves. Um, and at some point, if you're a bit too much of a perfectionist, things just don't work out. You need to pick some plan. It might not be the best plan, but pick something and stick with it. And Okay, that's an attack. Take my knight. Uh, let's make sure... I was going to play bishop a6. Thankfully he played queen a3 before I had a chance to do that. Um, free pawn. Oh. Okay, so I'm giving away some stuff, too. Can somebody clarify what's going on in this position? Oh, that's mate. That clears it up. That really clears it up. Okay. Yep, and as I predicted, VT Chess is the tournament leader. At least, having lost a game, I don't get paired with them, so... I get to enjoy winning another game, hopefully. Uh, here we protect my knight and shuffle. doesn't take, so I just keep shuffling, and I'm not sure how I'm going to develop. Oh, actually, never mind, I know now. It is very clear how I continue development here. Um, just throw everything toward the queen side. Or, now that he's committed to a, whatever the structure is, he's punching all kinds of holes in his center. Attack the center instead. Uh, let's take one of those, one of these, one of those. Okay. Hit 
this pawn. I don't even want that pawn. No, let's keep this bishop active. Hit that square. Hit it again and again. And one last time for good measure. <laughs> oh, poor guy keeps getting paired with the tournament leader over and over. Okay. H5, best by test. Uh, but seriously, I need to consider am I going to castle this game or not? Um, let's say no on castling. So how much did I sack for this position again? I lost count. Um, I think it was non-trivial though. Whatever I sacked. Knight move? He didn't move that night. He's still not moving this night. Alright, fine. If you're not going to move the knight, we'll do this the hard way. Let's go pawn go. Go pawn go. Alright. It's key to have a flexible mind. Knight. And that's how you checkmate with the queen. Alright, let's do this. Huh. Nobody knows how to combat h4, h5, or h5, h4. It's fair to say I'm flustering a few people with what I'm playing. Um, okay, take my knight. There we go. Develops my queen. And now we just plunk the knight on d5. Or just let him trade. Even better. Why move the knight when you can just trade it without moving it? Um, Hit this, take it, take that. Um, have to take that. Okay, let's get some open lines going. I was so fixated on this that I kind of forgot about my bishop. But there's no saving it now. Uh, but who needs a bishop? Am I right? I think I'm right. Okay. Is there anything else he wants to give away? I could have taken that rook. It's like he's trying to give it away. There we go. Third place. Yeah, that was perhaps pretty unwise on my part. Um, that was a mouse slip. Absolutely, that was a mouse slip. Okay, so I see stuff hanging. Let's just 
keep defending stuff. Okay. Yeah, knight takes... Nope. All right, we'll take a queen. And a knight. And whatever else I can get. You know, I could have had a king. Maybe. It was close. Okay, come out here and hit me. Yeah, that's how Bullock goes, though. I know he's angry about um, the mouse slip and hanging the beast, but, you know, that's part of Bullock. I, to I mean, I totally get it if he's ticked with me about that. I'd be annoyed at myself frankly. Um, hey, surprise French. Alright. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, at least I survived that. I survived playing a French defense. I was going to say a French opening. That's just how much I play this, or how little I play it. Alright, take my knight. There we go. Got the best pawn structure ever. No, but seriously, my bishop's not so terrible. Here, let me return the favor. Um, now we all have good pawns. Alright, so Peace activity for the win. Okay. Let's see you check me now. Okay, that is a check. Uh, I check you. That wasn't so effective. Let's back up and try something different. There's a check. Uh, let's get my king some safety. Oops, let's not hang this though. Alright, break the rook um, battery. And now just promote. See, aren't rook end games fun? Um, okay, let's get a fried liver attack. That's not a fried liver attack. Uh, I'm mildly disappointed by the lack of fried liverness. Uh, okay. Oops, let's not hang everything. Just a pawn, or two, or three, or four. Oh, and a bishop, you know. Just to make it exciting. See, if I could just get into a rook endgame, then I'd be golden. The key is getting to the rook endgame, though. Like, once I'm there, I've got it, but 
man, getting into a rook endgame without hanging my pieces is pretty hard. Sorry for the lack of commentary. I'm busy playing chess moves. Um, <laughs> despite winning six in a row, I'm still not in the lead of the tournament. Um, oh, I'm only trailing by one, though. I'm totally going to get paired with VT chess again, aren't I? <sighs> well, it's been fun. Let's try this. Okay, if you're not going to take, I'll take. Uh, I'll take you here. I'm losing all my stuff again. Alright, I don't know if e5 was any good. Uh, I've got to stop that. b6 is coming eventually. There's b6. Okay, I can take that on basalt. And take one of these. And one of those. Um, one of these. Let's not get mated. I'm going to assume that my piece activity is enough here. Although I'm not sure even what I would be compens- oh. Not mate. Very luckily that was not mate. Uh, check. Check. Alright, let's put- oh, crap! That's... Okay. Oh, right, his queen was hanging! Um, so I was going to check him and then probably find the hanging queen. Uh, okay. None of you saw that. Is that understood? Nobody saw that. Um, which is probably true because I don't think anybody's watching. At least based on the level of commentary and the viewership at the moment. Um, I'm guessing like chess bra or somebody is doing something more exciting. Uh, uh, Okay, so I don't recognize queen d5. I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing. I've got to learn if queen d5 is bad. Uh, okay. Uh, here's an attack. So I think my position's better. Nothing like nice positional bullet chess. Uh. Yeah, so every time he attacks my queen, I'm just going to shuffle it back and forth between these two squares. He's finally taken it. That's a free pawn. Can I get bishop c... no. Bishop c6 doesn't win a pawn. This wins a pawn. Um. This wins much more than a pawn. Because of check and then that. Okay, well, 
By some freakish feat of nature, I seem to have won the tournament. I'll take it. Um, I've also made my goal of breaking 2100 again. So, I think this has been a successful stream. Um, I do apologize for not having really followed... Oh yeah. Zug Addict says that that's F-sharp major. And I think that does sound an awful lot like Banjo-Kazooie, so that's probably F-sharp major. Um, but yeah. Sorry for not closely following what our viewership had to say. Usually in these streams I um, take the opportunity to read what you're typing and try to make meaningful statements about it. This time I was just trying to articulate my thoughts as I was playing. Uh, and that's what Bullet's about. So I guess um, thanks to one and all for watching, and I'll hope to see you around next time. Um, what follows next is uh, me just doing some AI coding stuff, and um, you don't have to stick around for that. I think it's fun, but uh, I think the chess aspect of this is going to be brought to rest uh, for today. So I'll come back. Um, so again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.